Hi friends, this is Coaster Master here. Welcome to my very first Planet Coaster feature. Today I am featuring a Vekoma Bermuda Blitz made by Jojo and he has a great YouTube channel by the name of Karnan Fanboy. He recently reached the 100 subscriber milestone and I certainly recommend you subscribe to him. He has some amazing, amazing coaster videos over there. But now, back to the Planet Coaster feature. Alright, so before I talk about what this coaster is like, I need to mention that I made this queue line and hopefully I did it right. Because, um, yeah, for some reason when you, when you take someone else's design from the Steam Workshop, you can't have the um, original queue lines. But I tried my best and one thing I really like about it is that it pays homage to Leg Coaster, the original Vekoma Bermuda Blitz, and that goes over the station and the queue line as well. So I think I think that's a neat little feature right there. And yeah, I mean, if I if I hadn't taken the camera here, I wouldn't have noticed it. So that's real neat, actually. Ow! Oh, I I want to ride this coaster real bad, but I just wanna you know see see what this coaster looks like from a different perspective. So what I'm going to do right here is click a tree and yeah, exit Tejid Cam because all this time I was in Tejid Cam. All right. Wow. This, this coaster looks so good from this um, angle. It clearly it's a coaster theme to the old west and, or something like that. And I must say there are a lot of trees considering that this thing is placed in the desert but eh, who cares i especially like the oil wells right there with oil just coming right out of it and honestly when you like i think i see why the trees are there because if you like put a path around this coaster then you won't really be able to um see the coaster the coaster is kind of hidden because of the trees and i think that's also real smart so yeah, I, I just couldn't help but notice. That's, I think that's a pretty interesting um, feature. I do not know if it was intentional or not. But yeah, you know what? Let's discuss some stats. 6.78 excitement, 4.05 fear, and 0.99 nausea. So those are great numbers actually. Well, can't wait to ride this thing. Obviously, this is a fantastic ride. I was actually quite impressed, especially by the theming, because when he sent it to me, he said that it's all rightly themed. I, I kind of disagree. This is just some really good theming. It's it's not overdone. I think it's I think it's just right. And I, I really respect that because because the theming doesn't really take away from the ride. It adds to it like in Disney, in some Disney attractions, theming can actually take away from the ride. So. I think the theming is quite well done over here and there are quite a lot of interesting moments. Some head choppers, a couple of tunnels which also act as head choppers. You know what? 
I should show them to you. So here we go. Um, wait, let me just find my way. Okay, that's the first tunnel right there. That's yeah, that's the artificial tunnel. There's a natural tunnel which I'll talk about later. But right here there is a fantastic head chopper. Let me see if I can get the train going through that. Yeah, I can. I can hear the train. So yeah, just look at that. I mean. That's such a good head chopper moment right there. I mean, better than Pinfari head choppers. And that's saying something. And then the second tunnel is this more natural tunnel right here, which is made of rocks. So, that's. Yeah, that's quite a good head chopper right there as well. And there's some decent terrain editing. Nothing too special. I, I was kind of looking for a bit more terrain editing, especially with this uh, tunnel right here. It would have been better with the terrain, but then again, it, then again, with um, terrain and stuff, sometimes the sometimes when you put the creation in your park, then you can't really see the effects of the terrain, which is uh, which is actually the primary reason why I had to recreate volcano reawakening. If you do not know what I'm talking about, it's uh, just check out the link on the card above right there. And honestly, I, I'm a little disappointed by the station building because on the other side, there was some fantastic theming. There were lots of doors and windows. On this side, it's kind of plain. So it would have been nice to see a few more elements on this side. But overall, I think the I think everything is really well done. Let's see the plan view of this coaster. Wow, I mean, it's really not as compact as Lek Coaster at Legendia, but you know, it's compact enough to be considered a Vekoma Coaster, a Vekoma Bermuda Blitz for that matter as well. And I need to acknowledge just one last thing. All of the inversions are custom made and it's always nice to see that. So, well, that's all I have for you today. This is Coaster Master signing out and I'll see you in the next Planet Coaster feature. If you want to get featured in the next video, then please send your entry on my Discord server. Links in the description. See you next time.